your Rocket League formation, which is two players camped in their own half, while the other one puts it into the corner, and the ball rolls with sort of an infield pass, and no one's following it up. So as again, I saw them play again later, um, against 72 PC, and then uh, poor old Zero Issue, and they looked much, much better. So I am ready to be wowed by this Ghost Squad, to see them take that form that they've had for Omelette in the past, because they are capable of such incredible dynamic solo plays in particular all three of these players when they have the ball under some control they're going up the ceiling and they're just capable of doing anything they like with it but there was also a lot of that which we just saw from lion plays a lot of those misses which hopefully that's the only one they're getting today well if you are a ghost gaming fan you will be agreeing with that sentiment as well because you want to see as much as you can out of the boys but jordan can make a Good transition down the pitch. Manji Bear going for the demo. Jordan takes it low as well. Being forced to jump over the ball is the keeper. And first blood goes to Alpine. Simple as you like for Jordan. Not the flashiest of these Alpine players, but he didn't need to be there. He had Magic Bear helping him out. Coming down the right side, turning that into a 2v1. So the simple dribble was all that he needed. And there was the 1-0 lead for Alpine. And the thing about Alpine as well is that if you watch them, the touches they make, as you're seeing there from Magic Bear <laughs> towards Percy, and these guys just love combining, every touch they make can be a pass. Look at this, it's not aimless. It's exactly where Percy needed it, and it's 2-0. I mean, Luke also left entirely on his own at the back there. There was freshness was working his way back, but ideally, you don't want to send your only defender up, because even if we see Luke get a decent block, it's still going to be bouncing somewhere worrying for the defense to deal with, so... Not ideal defense regardless. Luke, not necessarily to blame. Just great pass down. He should have had support from his Ghost Gaming teammates. Well, here comes Luke, though, pushing this one forward. It's awkward for Percy. He's stuck somewhat underneath the ball. A first foray into the Alpine half for Ghost Gaming. Comes to nothing, but good to see them getting a few touches in their opponent's half. Should give them a little bit of confidence in this game, which hasn't really gone their way. But it doesn't last for long. And then Freshness misses on the backboard again. Is that a free goal for Jordan or Percy? One of them, surely. A crossbar. Oh! Percy <laughs> follows it in. He tracks it all the way and he makes it three. Tactically taking it high, oh, of course. The pass, the pass back. And then Percy air dribbling it in, I'll call it. <laughs> three was... nil. Big lead for Alpine. That was like a 2015 air dribble. You know when you go on the montages <laughs> and it's like, wow, yeah. I got the ball in from 10 feet away. I'm amazing. It's Kronovi playing against a load of flat rats. Back in exactly. the day, it would have been good, that. But Luke being good for the Ghost Gaming side. The first goal, not without a little bit of help from Lion Blaze as well. And Magic Bears in opportune positioning. Yeah, simple as you like again for Ghost. So any goal will do for those guys to get them back into this first game. Still plenty of time to get the couple of goals that they do need. And Luke gets himself, uh, himself on the scoreboard. So in comes Freshness now towards the backboard. Percy's touch a little bit more pressure on it than it would have done about 30 seconds ago when they had a three goal advantage. I said, I smell a flip reset, Stumpy. Almost came off. Magic Bear saw it coming too. But Luke just seems to be waking up for this Ghost roster. We've seen other rosters struggle to wake up even until it gets to game three. Game four sometimes, and they're really on the line. Famously in EU, we've got Speed, who you mm. don't want to face game three Speed because all of a sudden he remembers how to play Rocket League. If Luke is going for that and within two minutes, then happy days. But Lion Blaze has an option there to pass. Oh. Sends it to Luke, who had just moved too far up. Pops with a freshness. The double tap chance on target, but Percy will block it away. The double tap was nice from freshness, but unfortunately, Luke was just a little bit too far forward from when Lion Blaze made the pass initially. They're just not quite connecting at the moment, Ghost. But they are showing at least some intent, which is good to see and what they need to do here. His Lion Blaze a shot towards Percy. Percy saves it and manages to get the next touch as well. Freshness is waiting behind in the mid. Not overextending just yet, Ghost. Still taking their time here. Need to get these blocks though. For example, Jordan's touch into the corner just means that Freshness is in trouble. Lion Blaze and Luke need to have a call here. It's Luke that... Was there a call? I think you saw that better than I did. I don't think there was much of anything. Both players ended up missing despite both going for it. And I don't think neither even backed off for the other. Luke and Freshness oh. again, except this time it does nearly work. And Lion Blaze missing on the wall. This is becoming scrappier and scrappier by the second and benefiting neither team. Looking to be like Ghost Gaming are happier playing the scrappy game mm. because the defense for Alpine is stretched, but without any goals going in, I can't say that it's working. No, I completely agree. I also feel like when it comes to these 50-50 plays and plays along the floor, the player like Lion Blaze on your roster, you're happy 
if the ball isn't always mm. sort of pinging away around the pitch, if it's slow, if it's awkward, if it comes down to the minutiae of the weird plays here. But that's a good example from Magic Bear, who knows his way around a 1v1 match as well. Lion Blaze comes from the ceiling up against Jordan. Luke and Lion Blaze both into that block. I think Fresh is going to win this one. He does. Magic Bear needs Percy to come out quickly. Percy obliges, then gets the next touch too. This is a chance. Jordan comes in. Alpine's passing plays when they transition are so effective. But Ghost is still in this one. It was a great half rotation as well from Lion Blaze to see where he needed to be. He knew that Luke was behind him, could end up getting the block as well. Jordan, I thought, had a chance there. Decent save from Freshness. Pinches it out middle as well. Lion Blaze going to go for one. Not quite. Percy will be catching it. Magic Bear from the backboard. Opts to not commit as hard to that as he wanted, despite the fact he burned boost to get there. And the lead is still quite heavily in favour of it's Alpine. The bump chance coming in as well, but no goals forming. And I think a lot of plays need to have another Ghost Gaming player there to receive them. Because every now and then, stuff like that happens. The counter-attack, Jordan comes in and over the top of the final defender. The positioning was strong by Freshness. It was just not at the right time. And if he came forward a little bit earlier into some of the hits where the defenders just lofted them central and didn't have too much of a plan of where they were going, the, the version one style of defense that we have seen previously of just, I don't know, I'll hit it, I guess, mm. is not going to work out if then you don't have somebody to actually come in and take advantage and have that secondary shot. It's the same issue with the ghost attack that I saw yesterday, where the third man was just a little bit too reluctant to come in, which sometimes is fine, but when you're 3-1 down and there's 25 seconds left, mm. gamble, risk it. I mean, the fact that Alpine scored this fourth goal wasn't because ghost overcommitted, ironically. It's because they came in too slowly. And now as yeah. they get their fifth, this is utter domination at this point from Alpine. And they are just loving how this game is panning out. There was a little bit of chaos. But for the most part, they've been able to control the pace of the game. They're pulling the strings. They're the ones who are making the plays and making the touches. And they looked really comfortable in that first game. Yep, looking much better overall than Ghost. I think Ghost, though, had a few chances, in all fairness. They had seven shots between them, only two behind the side of Alpine, though Alpine did manage to score over 50% of those with their five goals in the end. Magic Bear not committing a huge amount on the offensive side of things, or defensive, so having more of a midfield role in that match. I'd like to see, in Ghost, just commit another man to the ball, make an or give an awkward shot to Alpine to deal with, and then get the 50. See if that can lead to a goal. If it doesn't, no harm done, and you can move on, continue with the next play. Right now, they're playing a little bit too safe, and Alpine are quite happy to absorb the pressure and then just hit it downfield when they have a little bit of time. Yeah, completely true. The passes also need to be a, have a little bit more zip on them. You know, they're slow, they're safe passes. They're the sort of passes that you make that you're not entirely sure if your teammate is actually coming in. They're sort of mm. safety first hits across the centre. I want to see Ghost Gaming really ping that ball into the mid because let's say it's Freshness making the pass. He's confident that Luke is coming in and Luke is going to get the finish and they don't mm. have to worry about the fact that they could be counted. If we see that, then Ghost can certainly turn this around. But, you know, the, the, the domination up to this point has been all Alpine. Yeah, and quite deservedly as well. Decent chances, making the chances for themselves as well, not just relying on the counterattacks and mistakes from Ghost Gaming, despite the fact there have been many. That pass coming in early from Freshness, tries to find Luke, does not manage to, and now Magic Bear with Jordan can push up the pitch. Jordan finds a clear corner and will take it there. To the ceiling, no, just a little bit lower, flip reset, gets one, and the dunk as well, oh. Jordan! Mechanical Maestro opens up game two. Wow, look at that. I thought the play was oh. over, but he just followed it home and Luke falls for it, hook, line and sinker. Into the corner it goes. And Alpine take the early lead in game two. What a goal. Getting, yeah, it off absolutely. That, getting it off the ceiling as well with the reset then securing the flip reset on the way. A lot of people will look at Magic Bear to be the more, the more mechanical player on the Alpine roster, but Jordan just proving he is one to be scary. And one, two, one for Ghost Gaming to certainly keep an eye on when he's up. Yeah, it's Jordan and Percy. Uh, sorry, Magic Bear and Percy for the most part. But Jordan himself is no slouch when he gets the chance to control no the ball himself. Player. There really isn't for Alpine. They're a unit that I thought when they're up against a team that can defend them, they're, they're the sort of team that have teams that they face against well and teams that just know how to beat them every single time are Alpine because they play this very beautiful, pretty... Mm -hmm 
tiki taka style of Rocket League that can be frustrating when sometimes you just want to see them boot the ball all the way down to the mm -hmm. other end. But when it is working as it is today, I mean, look at Jordan now <laughs> in the air, pirouetting around it. Magic Bear had absolute faith that the 50-50 was going to go his team's way. So he's following. Now it's Percy's turn. Gets a flip reset. Better fake. I don't think he meant it, but it almost worked. But it's saved by Ghost. At the moment in Rocket League, the fakes of flip resets are just as powerful as the flip reset themselves. Just the idea that it will come in mm. is enough to scare defenders out of the way. Jordan using his and okay. Percy not is, sh is showing the the depth that the Alpine roster does have. And Ghost Game will do well to defend from it. But there's only been one goal off a fantastic shot so far. And Luke sends that above the crossbar. Jordan with a touch. Can send it top corner. Absolute perfection. Easy as you like again for Jordan. Luke's clearance wasn't quite good enough. And who was the first to react? It was Jordan. And you talk about dominance, Stumpy. So far, Ghost Gaming have been limited to one shot, whereas Alpine are on seven. And I think that, you know, sometimes those statistics don't quite paint the tale of the story. Mm -hmm. That pretty much sums up how the second game has gone. Seven one in shots sounds about right to me. And yesterday we saw these guys face off and it was a it was a game five, a five game series. It was a close matchup. Alpine took it, but by no means were they this dominant. They seem to have they've had their breakfast this morning. They've had something fresh in their diet because man, this is this is the viewer experience that everyone loves with Alpine. Ghost gonna see a little bit more of them, but Luke wants to continue down the pitch with that ball, catching it off Percy. Jordan intercepting in midfield, and Percy removing freshness from the pitch. Magic Bear will not opt to go up. Instead, Lion Blaze has control of the ball to the corner where Jordan will wait to poach. Does not manage to. Percy up. Jordan there again. Shot on target. Percy oh. with the bump on Luke as well. Just opening it up in every single place on the pitch right now. Yeah, they're doing well to avoid going three goals down, Ghost. Good defending from them in the end, especially from Luke. Lion Blaze needs his clean clearance. And he gets it. And I want, now I want to see Luke pushing forward onto the side to get that next hit. It happened. Didn't come to anything in the end, but at least they had a man showing some intent, playing in front of the ball, which seems to be something that Ghost are reluctant to do at the moment. Gives them an outlet. We see it again. Luke's going for this solo play. If he can dunk it, then I think Freshness was beside him. It does eventually fall to Lion Blaze, but Percy can come forward. This is the danger for Ghost. They start to push on a little bit more. Two goals down, because Alpine have always got a goal in them, especially with Jordan playing like he is. But Luke comes in and gets the block. We're watching Jordan for the last minute or so, and he is taking on an incredibly aggressive role here. There again, challenging nice and early before Luke can catch it and go for a dribble, because he knows that Percy is behind him. Cuts across the pitch entirely to go for that ball, and he opened up the pitch a little bit earlier on, the defense, where Percy had a chance to go for a shot, and the only reason he did be. is because oh. there was a chance, because Jordan opened up oh. at the back, and the counter-attack from Alpine removes the Ghost Gaming side. When they had the advantage, you thought it was going to be a goal for Ghost. In the end, the one, two, three, and it's yeah. the third. Magic bear to Jordan, Jordan to Percy, and then Percy does all he needs to do, which is roll it into the back of the net, and I thought that Ghost were going to get themselves right back into this game. It wasn't to be at all. One save, and then a pass, and they're just cut right open, Ghost. And it's seeming like they've got no ideas. Now oh. Jordan goes for another flip reset. He is really feeling this one. Mm. I think he heard us saying that Magic Bear and Percy are the mechanical ones, because Jordan's trying to prove to us that anything they can do, he can do better. That anything the team does, it just elevates each and every one of them for Alpine. This mm -hmm. is why this team have got so many fans, simply because of the way they play Rocket League. And it's completely on Ghost now to figure this one out. Mm -hmm. Do they try and play a bit more defensively and just be patient and stop throwing goals away? Do they go all out and try and blitz Alpine at the start of game three? And for the record, that's my shout as well. But I'm curious yeah. what you're I thinking. I think it's a blitz. I think you need to blitz them at this point. So far, Alpine, with I think it was nearly a minute left at the time, had 14 shots on target. And Ghost Gaming were held back to five. And they only just got one there, so four at the same time. So... Yeah. I think I, I just want to see more pressure from Ghost. They've got more that they can offer than they are. Defensively, honestly, they've been all right. But have they had much time? No, they've not. Especially with Jordan transitioning like that from Percy's pass. It's the key difference as well. Whenever oh. Alpine get a clearance, oh, he's caught it on his half flip as well. That is so clever. What That's a way cheeky. to get your hat trick for Jordan. That is cheeky. It's pretty as well. Like, it's not the most mechanically amazing goal you'll ever see. 
but it's the presence of mind to go for the half flip there, then get the catch and just knock it past Ghost. And every single goal that Alpine are getting here will just be... I mean, are you getting the sense that Ghost Gaming are confident right now in this series? No, I'm not. And I think it would be hard to be confident against a side that is pinning you back as much as Alpine are. The way that Ghost need to come out in this is by having sheer aggression from the start. I think Ghost know they're going to they're gonna concede some goals. Like, you're not, you're not going to not concede goals when mm. you're playing against Jordan right now, to be honest. Yeah. Being yeah. fed by his team person in Magic Bear, of course, but by Jordan. And I think the way that Ghost counter that is don't let them have the offensive chances that they've currently been afforded. Go for the attack. Get yourself aggressive. Be in their faces. Force 50s and have a man that's forcing in or following in rather with a close shadow. Right now, sitting back and trying to defend your way to a victory has not worked. You've got to try the polar opposite. And if it doesn't work in two minutes, switch it up. See what happens. But we need a change of tactics for Ghost. Otherwise, this is a clear 3-0. I completely agree with you. Ghost Gaming are at their best when they're getting those awkward touches in the opposition defense just to make them question themselves defensively. And Alpine aren't being questioned defensively. This could be the start of that, though. Good couple of touches. Luke's up against Percy, but Magic Bear gets the clearance. And just when you're starting to think that Ghost are going to exert some pressure, they have the outlet. They boom the ball long. They find the touch to take it past the Ghost attack. And here they go. And then look at this down the other end. Jordan, could he get this? Oh. Go on. Oh, that would have been special. Instead, Freshness now of the pitch. has got a chance. Goes nice and high. Chance for the rebound well as well. And Luke of Freshness's aggressive air dribble after Jordan couldn't quite manage his double secures the first goal. It's what he wanted from Ghost, and this is better. Yeah, Luke actually predicted that the air dribble would hit the backboard. He wasn't thinking, oh, what if they do get a block? Maybe I'll be out of position. He says, no, we need to score goals here. We are essentially losing this series as it stands right now. So... They've got nothing to lose, and that was the yeah. play of somebody who realizes finally that they do have nothing to lose. I'm enjoying what I'm seeing from Ghost here. They've definitely started game three looking more like the team, but the fans want them to be. This one could be going in as well. It's just wide, and Percy closes down Lion Blaze as well. The chances now that Ghost are getting are off their own hard work as well. They're forcing the ball into all positions, following up when they can, but Percy, Ooh. as he removes freshness from the pitch, will just send it far away, which honestly I don't hate because they were down a player and they needed to just get it out, keep the ball away, and now they can recover, get some boost, and then work back into it. It's not panics, and I like the composure. I think the clearance from Lion Blaze earlier, though, could have been a lot better. It was a tad weak, even if it was the right decision in theory. That's good from Lion Blaze, though. Yeah. Chasing Magic Bear up for Freshness's shot. Again, doesn't happen, but Alpine is just starting to chase the ball a little bit. It's a good touch from Lion Blaze. Freshness does have the chance to win this one, and he does. How good is the save from Magic Bear and Jordan? Out wide it goes towards Lion Blaze. Magic Bear wants to beat Luke here, and he manages it. Can he get the next touch as well? Freshness does get a block. <laughs> Both players are sort of... The ball was directly above three players there who were all thinking, do I go for it? And then I think they heard a call from their teammates saying, yes, 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 go! And there was no danger in the end. It's like when there's the ice power up in Rumble and you just don't know, you're like, should I just wait? Are people just going to whiff this? And <laughs> nine times out of ten they do, but sometimes they won't. And Freshness Ooh. has got a chance there to send it over Manchester. Bear. Does not take it. Luke, central. Percy from the backboard. Gets locked oh. in and then breaks the rule too. Ooh. Now, Lukey, will they be punished Lukey. for that? Very, very nearly get the advantage from it. That well, was definitely on Luke to break that. <laughs> wow. Wow, I'm shook of Stumpy Goblin. Here comes Lion Base. He's got Luke in the centre. Almost comes good off. But yeah, good positioning from Luke as well. He made it. He made the Alpine defence question oh. themselves. Oh, no. Oh, no. Jordan was the player that was bumped as well. And the recovery was just so far. So that was, that was right after. He got bumped and then went awkwardly on the side wall. Held his handbrake to continue his spin round. And wow. then left from the wall and took the shot in that same momentum. First goal, and not much you can do about that. The aggression was there. The yeah, it was it was a very good shot taken by Jordan, just making the overextending ghost side panic, suffer, and concede. They have to keep their confidence here though, because they have been the better team in this third game for the first time this series. If they turtle up now and really just start to panic and think, what if we lose? Then they have got no chance here. They're a little bit lucky there, but Freshness was able to get the block on that shot. Now he doesn't Luke have a pass, so many. find it. Has he? 
Luke has missed a lot from the backboard. It's not even like when he's just on the backboard. It's sort of that back third defense where mm. he has chances to go for a couple of clears. Doesn't quite get them. The teammate has to save him. But freshness, he saves the day, at least for now for Ghost, as he can beat out Percy to that ball and catches Jordan overextending. I'm always happy to see Ghost sort of coming in from the side there like Freshness did. Maybe he had another player that could have gone for that ball, but he realized that even cutting in, he was going to be able to beat Alpine to the ball comfortably. It was his to go for. He made the decision, and it results in a goal for him and his team. And Ghost do have their lead returned. Maybe just a bit more composure on the backboard from Luke and the gang. And they'll be looking good here. He's looking all right in attack, is Luke. Scored mm. a goal this game. Making a lot of nice transitional plays. That's almost a filthy double commit from Lion Blaze and Freshness. Thankfully, Lion Blaze pulled out of that one because that really could have been awkward there mm. for Ghost Gaming. It does eventually fall for Alpine, but at least Ghost have numbers back. I mean, previously, when they had the advantage, we saw that the, the Ghost Gaming did a good job of holding it. It took a good few minutes for there to be an equalizer coming in for Alpine. So with one minute left, Ghost really feeling quite good about their position right now, but the bomb Ooh. attempt does come in! Oh. And then the whiff on the goal line. I think it was Magic Bear who ended up going for the bump. He got one touch. No, he didn't know. It was Jordan that went for the bump in the end. Lion Blaze thought the bump was coming in from Magic Bear. Had to avoid that and save the ball. Instead, it rolls and Percy can tap it in. And that's where Ghosts were lacking previously. Alpine showing them what to do. Get a close man to shadow. And Magic Bear with a chance again right off kickoff. Alpine know now that one more goal could sink Ghost Gaming here and give them a deserved series victory. But Ghost will continue to fight. Lion Blaze puts it into the corner. At the moment, Alpine's struggling to get out. Good closing down from Luke. Freshness is all alone at the back for a second. Luke's getting bumps and demos here on Jordan. Magic oh. Bearer covers and gets back just in time. And now Percy with a chance. Goes high, got 30 boosts, can get one touch over. Freshness oh, has no, to hit it! No, and no, no, no. he doesn't! Freshness with the whiff at the back. He had, he had he just picked up a boost pad as well. He was on 80 as he started that aerial. That's a terrible miss, and that could be the nail in the coffin for Ghost. He I probably also the suction turned on the Ghostbusters Hoover for Ghost or whatever. Yeah, turning into cytoplasm up in here. Who knows? Anyway, what we're saying is that Alpine are probably about to win, especially with Luke getting more misses. They look shaken right now to Ghost. Jordan up against Lion Blaze. You know the moment they lost, don't you, mate? It was, was it when, when they conceded Luke... one more goal than Alpine did. See, that's what history will say, but we know <laughs> that it was the moment that Luke broke the rule two. Mm. I think Fate it must have been. Turned on them there and then. And it that is a stepped three in. Oh, for Alpine Esports. Wow. That, oh man, just when Ghosts were improving, that really hurt. That but that's final the thing. Goal. That was a better Ghost gaming that we saw in the final game. And it was still not nearly what I believe they can offer. It's early in the day for North America, you know. These are, these are sleepy lads right now, but Alpine, they just had a bit more porridge, more oats in their bowl, it looks like, than You're Ghost Gaming did. you cereal, mate, aren't you? I just really like cereal, and porridge is brilliant. It's so versatile. I think what the issue was for Ghost, and it continued ultimately into that final game, is there were... There are a few chances where I would have still liked for them to have pushed up further than they eventually did. Mm -hmm. And Alpine did that job well. They had a close shadow. And so any shots that just sort of got put weakly in the center, or if there was a shock bump that came out, out of absolutely nowhere that wasn't planned, then Percy normally could come in and capitalize on that. Ghost Gaming just seemed to lack that initiative and they mm -hmm. just didn't want to commit that third man up. They did concede on a runaway goal every now and then, but I still feel like Ghost had ample opportunity to commit harder to offensive plays than they eventually ended up doing. Yeah, that's a key trait of Ghost Gaming as well. Just having that third man not quite push forward at the right mm. time, then eventually get a little bit shaky and go for it right at the wrong time. Mm. What it does mean after that series, put it into context, is that Alpine join the Peeps, Plot Twist, and KC Pioneers of winning their games from the loser's uh, version, the loser's bracket, the loser's Swiss, whatever it's the called. Loser's the loser's half? I suppose. The losers yeah. half. Yeah. So yeah. They're, they're the ones who are doing all right. Whereas Ghost are now 0 2 alongside Stromboli. Zero. Oh, no. Poor old. Um, no. What are they called again? Zero oh, issue. Zero issue. Thank you. New mm. org. Uh, and Exet, who are all 0 2. So tough starts for them.
Yeah, everybody, if you have any thoughts about the games that you have seen um, at any part during this weekend, let us know on Twitter using hashtag RLCS and also at RL Esports. FDOT will be reading out every single tweet that you send. So maybe send in like 50 and just do one letter per tweet. I, so we have to like make loads of graphics. I sent one yesterday defending charity shops. And as far as I know, it never made it to the broadcast. So I'm, I'm just... You know what I, mean? I think F dot has too much taste to agree with that tweet is the issue. Everybody, <laughs> we will be I don't know I don't know why I'm slamming charity shops. I don't They're either. really good. They're great. We are going to be back after this break with a few more round three matches, a couple of mid-table matches. So everybody, we'll see you very soon.